Welcome to this special episode on This is Beirut, where we celebrate Lebanon's historic victory in the South Women's International Friendly Tournament in Saudi Arabia. Joining us now in the studio is the driving force behind Lebanon's victory in the SAF tournament, the Lebanese women's football team coach, Joanna Hamze. Joanna, thank you for coming in. Thank you for inviting me. Congrats on the historic win. How does it feel to lead the national team in the inaugural senior level championship title? Uh, it was a pleasure uh, for me. Uh, it was a very hard uh, mission. Uh, but uh, we have accomplished uh, this uh, mission by uh, winning the tournament. Uh, I'm very glad and impressed uh, with these uh, girls, the performance of these girls. You're the second woman to coach this, the senior team. Uh, how does it feel uh, to achieve this and what, what it means for the future of women's football in Lebanon? Uh, it's a pride uh, for me. It's a very nice uh, feeling. It was a dream for me from when, when I was a player. My dream was to be the seniors, uh, seniors team coach and uh, to win a tournament uh, with them. Uh, it was very nice. Uh, the feeling, I can't uh, say any word about it. Uh, I'm proud of the girls and of the work uh, that, uh, that we did. The team achieved this milestone without several professional players in the tournament. Uh, what was your strategy and how did you prepare to overcome challenges in the tournament? Yes, the age average of the, our national team, it was uh, 18. Otherwise, the other uh, teams, uh, the age average was 25 years old. Uh, uh, this was a challenge for us. Uh, I worked on them uh, mentally. I worked very... Uh, uh, in the, uh, very several times on on their mental uh, mental health, uh, it was very hard. But uh, but we did it finally. We did it. Lili Skandar's goal in the extra time was a game changer. Yes. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, her performance? Lili Skandar is a very uh, great uh, player. She deserves more than she is she's doing now. Uh, she deserves to be in Europe, not only in uh, an Arab team. She's a leader and she lead us to the, to the winning uh, game. And Ranal Mehdad's uh, experience in guiding the team and uh, she's the captain and uh, she has the most appearances uh, with the national team. What are your thoughts on uh, her performance and experience? And what do you think about the young uh, uh, talents that joined the team like Cecil Skandar? Ranal Mehdad uh, is the third coach in the team. She's not only the captain, she helped us a lot. Uh, on the field and outside the, the field. I want to thank her for everything she, she did. She's uh, a very good uh, captain. I also wait from her to, to do many things more. And now she's traveling uh, to Ishbilia to join a team and uh, uh, not for playing, but uh, for fitness uh, courses. I'm proud of her. Uh, and of the, the other uh, talented uh, young girls, Lebanon is lucky to have these talented uh, young, young girls. We need to support them financially. We need to support them in, uh, in football, uh, mentally and uh, physically. They need our support to stay on the right track. Coach Joanna, this uh, victory marks Lebanon's first ever trophy at senior level. Yes. Uh, what can you tell us about the journey leading up to this achievement and what it means for women's sport in Lebanon? Uh, for me, this is the beginning. This is the, the door of hope. We, we dream and, and we can, we can do it and we did it. Okay, this is the first trophy and uh, uh, we are aiming for more trophies. Can you highlight some of the standout moments in the tournament that contributed to Lebanon's uh, success? Uh, there was many, uh, the dedication of the girls, the hard work of the girls, uh, they were all one unit working together. Uh, uh, when we won the penalties in the semifinals, uh, we won we won the penalties in the semifinals. Uh, that was uh, it was alarming for us that uh, the we can do it, and this is uh, our hope. It, uh, the the final also they played from their bottom of hearts. Uh, they played very well. I'm very proud of them. The performance was great uh, and we won. We did it. 
you played against Bhutan in the group stage yes. and in the final. What did you change in your strategy to uh, make sure to win uh, the tournament against Bhutan? Uh, we worked in the training, but I was working more on the men mentally side of them. I worked mentally very hard to stay. Uh, the final game is not only tactics on the field, it's more mental. That's why I was working very hard mentally to keep them focused all the time, uh, to keep them uh, working and uh, doing their best, giving 100% on the field. Uh, that's why uh, we won. Now, what's next for the Lebanese women's national team? What are your goals for the future? The end of October, we have uh, two friendly games against Bangladesh. Uh, it will be in Lebanon. Uh, these games help us for the ranking of the FIFA, FIFA rankings. But the official tournament is in, on, uh, in February, uh, maybe the, the first or the mid of February. Mm. It's the West Asian uh, Cup. Coach Joanna, what's your message for the fans and supporters of the Lebanese women's national team? Uh, I want to thank uh, all the people uh, that came to the airport to celebrate uh, with us. Uh, especially the parents. Thank you very much. Uh, your, the players need your, uh, your support and thank you for supporting us. Coach Joanna, thank you so much for joining us today. We are rooting for you and the Lebanese national team. Thank you very much. And that's a wrap. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned on This is Beirut social media and website for more.